Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we're going to talk about lips. So, for quite some time, because of mask wearing and all that good stuff, I kind of got away from lipsticks. I love lipsticks, I always have, but you know, I've worn less of them, frankly, um, over the last two years. And so, although I've been buying quite a few lipsticks uh, to show all of you, I have to say I have been pretty basic in what I'm wearing myself. So I have the Dior lip oils in my purse. I have Dior lip balms, like the tinted lip balms in my purse. I have some Chanel's in my purse, but I haven't really worn more than that, uh, to be very honest. Me personally, like on a daily you know, basis, like what I wear. Um, I have the Chantecaille lip cheeks, which I wear a lot, but again, you know, I've had those for years and they're not really new formulas or anything like that. So today we're going to, on the lips, try out some lip products so you can see the shades that frankly I had no intention of buying and either my friend talked me into it or I tried out the formula and loved it so much that I bought like four shades of it. You get the picture. So let's start with what I have on my lips right now. What I have on my lips right now, you will be very surprised to know, is a very inexpensive lipstick. Uh, first of all, the liner is the Buxom Lipstick in Creamy Chocolate. Yeah, creamy chocolate, which is a very deep brown. I've kind of rubbed it off my hand now, um, but it's a really good chocolate brown liner. If you're not familiar with a chocolate brown liner, I'm telling you guys, anyone can do a chocolate brown liner. It looks good. You just have to, you know, blind it with something else to make it work for you. And what I have it on today with, you guys are gonna laugh. I don't think I've mentioned this product, this brand on my, yeah, I've never mentioned this brand on my uh, channel. And actually though, there's a couple of things that they make that I really like. So this is the Wet n Wild. <laughs> yep, Wet n Wild. I think it was $3. Um, it is a dark pink frost lipstick. Now, uh, this reminds me of a lipstick that I had from <sighs> Estee Lauder, I think, back in the day. Um, it is a frosty pink lipstick. And when you first see it, you're just like, how is that going to look good? But with a brown liner, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is stunning, frosty, gorgeous lipstick. And this was $3. And actually, it holds up really well. Like, it's a good, luminous lipstick. It's a frosty lipstick, like I said. Um, the color lasts. It doesn't, you know, go into the corners of my lips any more than any other lipstick does. It doesn't bleed too much. It feels very comfortable. It has no smell. Uh, it doesn't have a scent. $3. And again, I'll make sure the link is down below. I bought it on Amazon. I think they have it at Ulta. I think CVS. <laughs> I was getting other things at Amazon when I picked this up. I didn't buy a $3 lipstick all by itself. Um, dark Pink Frost. And the number is 530. I think that's a D. I think it's 530D. It's really pretty. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to jump. We're going to jump uh, tiers here. Um, and then talk about two brands that I really like the brands, but usually for something else. First one is the Killian. Killian's is the perfume brand that one of my favorite perfume brands of all time. This is Tempting Rose 360 Liquid Satin. They have a liquid matte lipstick, which is one of the few liquid matte lipsticks that I actually will even tolerate. Uh, it's actually pretty comfortable. And my friend Gita picked up this shade um, and said, you gotta try it. Now the problem, my, my problem with the Killian lipsticks is that generally they're reds and I just don't wear a red lipstick very often. Like some people that's their signature thing and they wear a red lipstick, I just don't. So I didn't, I don't really like, like most of the shades, but this one, the Tempting Rose, I thought I could probably, I could probably try this. So we're gonna try that one today. And then the other two brands, let me show you what they are, is the Byredo. This is the, what's, what's the name of it? Does it have a name? Liquid Lipstick Vinyl. Yeah. Um, I love Byredo lips, um, perfumes, like the Killing, right? Um, and I actually like their um, uh, eyeshadows that look like a clamshell. Uh, I don't love the shape but I do like, I do like the, the product itself. I picked up Reasonable Doubt, cause come on, and Bezer Cosmique, 
that's probably not how you pronounce it. Um, and I will show you those two shades on my lips, but this is what the, the bottle looks like. It's kind of got this triagonal kind of shape. It's a weird looking, it's a weird looking tube, but I'm very excited. So I'm gonna do those two shades for you today. And then the Isamea, who is a uh, designer, I guess is the, I mean, she, she does a lot of different things, makeup artist, um, interesting person in general. Um, this is a maximizing lip serum in Black Veil. Now, I also have her eyeshadow palette because everyone told me I should pick it up. I did. Um, I just haven't used it yet. It, it does have the piercing at the top, which is kind of interesting. And there's this black looking fluid in here. We're gonna, we're gonna try that out. So I'm gonna put all those in my lips. So again, we got very different, very different products today. Um, then I have the Dior Addict, the three new shades from the um, Holiday. Now, these, there were not, there were four shades. I did not pick up the plum one. So that one I didn't get, but I did pick up the other one. So you guys can see those again on my lips. Um, I picked up three of the Clay de Peau Holiday shades. Again, there's more, but I picked up three. First of all, the packaging is just like, Stunning, absolutely stunning. So I will show you these three shades. Last but not least, I picked up, because I just, you know, when it comes to Chanel, I did my video on the Chanel holiday collection and I picked up the 827 La Stray lipstick. And I was like, I'm not gonna pick up the 827 because it's a gold red shade. Guess what I have <laughs> right here. <laughs> Uh, 817. So, yeah. So we're gonna try all those on my lips today, talk about the formulas, the difference, all that good stuff. Okay, so we started with Wet n Wild. Uh, I guess let's move, let's, let's do the singles first and then move into the multiples. So let's start with the Ismea, what did I call this? Already I've forgotten. Lip Lac, Maximizing Lip Serum in Black Veil. Um, this is the first time I'm ever using anything from her line. Her line is very new. Uh, it says, apply lip lac directly to bare lips. Okay, let's try it. So again, there's this black cap. We've got the piercing at the top. And I'm gonna assume there's a doe foot. Yep. And it looks, it looks kind of black. So, so let's try it. Okay, weird. All right. I didn't mean weird in a bad way. It was just that it, uh, it kind of, it has a scent. I can't think of what that is though. It's like a, uh, what is that? It's not a perfume. It smells, gosh, I can't, licorice? Can't be licorice. It's kind of what it reminds me of though. Okay, so actually, I'm just like feeling it. That's really nice. It kind of looks purple on my lips. By itself, it's got a purpley blue cast, so I don't think I'd wear it by itself. But over something, I think it might be really nice. It says bare lips because it's a plumper, but it might be a little too purple for me. Okay, but it actually, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel stingy. It doesn't feel like one of those plumpers where you know you put it on and then you're like, ooh, my lips sting or hurt. No, it doesn't feel like that at all. Okay. Yeah, none of that. It's just that it has it has a black, black veil. I mean, it has a purpley cast. I think you can see it. So either A, you like that kind of shade, or maybe if you wore it like a little um, later, put more of it on because I wanted to see if it would like tingle or anything. I just, yeah, if you take a little off, you get more of like, almost like a lilac. It actually feels nice. Okay. On to the next. All right, so now we're gonna do the other single that I have. We'll also do the Chanel because that is also a single. Um, this is, like I said, the Killian La Rouge Parfum Intense Color Scented Lip Lacquer. 
uh, liquid satin in Tempting Rose for 60. If you do not like the Love Don't Be Shy scent, do not pick these up. All of the Killian lipsticks smell like that. Um, I love that scent, it's one of my favorites. But again, if you don't like it, if you don't like perfume in general on your lip products, don't pick up anything from Killian. Well, that is stunning. Now, if I could just get Killian to do more shades, because like I said, I think most of the shades, I'm gonna have to check out the shades. I think more, they're mostly red shades. Um, there are nudes in the Killian lipsticks, and I have them, but the nudes came out like way later. First they, they did reds, and then they had some plums. I can't really remember, but anyway, there's, there's lipsticks, there's the matte lips, the liquid lips, and then now there's these. These are the relatively new. I love the shade. It's a stunning shade, Tempting Rose. Yes, it is rose, but it is deeper than that. It has a little bit of coral almost to it. It smells amazing. It smells like Love Don't Be Shy, which I love. It dries down a little bit so that you get, get a little bit more of a satin, traditional satin lip instead of like a liquid lip. Um, but it feels phenomenally good. It feels like comfortable and nurture, like nourishing. Um, my understanding is that these do last a little bit longer than a traditional satin lipstick. They almost stain a little bit. And I think you can already see it in the way that it's drying down. It's not gonna be like a liquid lip. It's not gonna be like the matte one that they have, but it has more staying power because it almost like bonds with your, it feels like it's like bonding with your lip a little bit. And that shade is stunning. Oh, I'm gonna wear this a lot. The smell alone, oh, it smells so good. Um, again, if you don't like love, don't be shy, then you won't like it, but yeah, it's just a really, it's a pretty, sh it's a rose, it's a deep rose with like almost a little bit of coral and it feels phenomenally good. Silky, smooth, creamy, really nice. I'll have to give you guys updates on like when I wear it out, like how it lasts on me, whether it becomes more of a stain, but I think, I, I can feel like it's a little bit more adhered than a traditional lipstick. I kind of don't want to take it off. I am absolutely gonna need my meal cordon, um, <laughs> my meal cordon uh, lip balms. My lips are already like stinging. They're like, what are you doing to me? I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so if you didn't watch my uh, Chanel holiday collection video, you should go watch it. It's a good video. Um, I picked up so there was two new lustres, which are the deep, intense. Um, opaque, rich, thin, very expensive lipsticks. They also came out with lax, which I did not pick up. The two new lax, which of course I am now going to be picking up one of them because, you know, whatever. But anyway, um, but I picked up three of the lax. Two were repromote colors that I just didn't have. One was 827, which is like a brownie red, which I love. Really, seriously love that shade. This one is 817 and it's a red. It's a red, red, warm red that has like gold flex. And I was like, I'm not going to buy it. This does not look good on me. And then one of my friends bought it and she wore it and showed me a picture and I was like, that looks so pretty. <laughs> so I am, I am easily manipulated, guys. So easily. So we're gonna try out the 817. Yeah, she was right. It's a beautiful lipstick. Okay, so it is a little gold red for me, for my coloring. So in other words, I have um, sort of cool toned, if you will, peach toned coloring. And my hair is like an auburny red. So a bright red, orangey, gold lipstick can be a little much for me. What I would do with this one is put a little bit of brown liner on, like I had on with the Wet n Wild in the, in the beginning, and it'll be perfect. But it actually is a really, but it actually is a really pretty shade. And it's, there are a little gold flecks in it. It's not drastic, they're just light. Um, and it is like the perfect holiday lip. It's, and it, you know, it is, it's pretty. It's really nice. And this formula, I, you know, I've heard a lot of people like, they don't like the formula because it's very expensive for what you get. And I'll, I agree with you. I mean, it is very overpriced. Um, but pretty much every, every luxury beauty item is overpriced. Uh, but this is, a really good formula. It's very opaque. It's very comforting. I think it looks really good on my lips. My lips are really dry. So uh, to me, it makes a difference. And this one's very nurturing and feels really nice. 
And if you're looking for a bright red, goldish red, and the formula on these, like I said, nourishing, opaque, rich, um, it's got the really thin barrel and there's not a lot of uh, lipstick for what you pay for it, but it is a beautiful formula. Okay, let's move to the Byredos. Okay, now we're doing the Byredos. A Byredo opened, by the way, right by my hair salon, like right next to my, my hair salon. I was like, ooh, that's bad. Uh, okay, so <laughs> these are the Liquid Lipstick Vinyl which is interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna like these, but I'm gonna try them. Um, the two shades I bought were Reasonable Doubt and Bezer Cosmique. The uh, Bezer Cosmique seems to be the one that has like a little bit of um, shimmer in it. The Reasonable Doubt looked like a lighter shade. I'm gonna try that one first. And at the end of all of this, I'll tell you what my favorite ones are from the ones we've tried today, but let's get them on the lips first. Okay, interesting doe foot. It's like long and lean, almost like a spatula. It feels really nice, guys. It does not look vinyl at all. It looks like a creamy satin lipstick. I like the shade. Very neutral, very beigey pink. But I don't even think you need a liner with this because of the way you can use the applicator. I think it's really easy for it to go on. That feels incredibly comfortable. There's definitely a scent and a little bit of a taste. I like the Killian smell a lot better because <laughs> it smells like perfume, but well, it looks really nice. It feels good. It's still a little tacky. The Killian's is more like the Killian dried down more and became more like smooth and silky. This feels more creamy. Yeah, it, it's adhering though. Like it feels like it's almost like sinking into my lips. It's nice. Just seeing if it says anything on them. I'll have like details, prices and stuff below, but yeah, it's really a beautiful formula. It feels very comfortable, very much like a satin lipstick, but a little bit more, like there's more cream to it. And I like the doe foot because of the, it's kind of like a spatula, so it's easy to go on your lips. Like you can really get precise with it. You know what I mean? Like I didn't use a liner and I could make like the outline of my lips perfect. Okay. That's really nice. Doesn't feel drying. Again, length, like how long these things last, you know, how long I can wear them. What, those I'm going to have to test out for you, but okay. That again is reasonable doubt. It's probably the lightest, most nude shade they had. All right. So now we'll do the Bezer Cosmique. All right, let's put that on. Like I said, this one I think is the one that has like more shimmer to it. Yes, it's like metallic. This is a stunning shade. This looks similar to a shade that Chanel had years ago called Metal Garnet. And this has a similar look to it. It's a rosy, red, purple, metallic, it reminds me of Metal Garnet. Um, the Metal Garnet that I had in Chanel wasn't this metallic because I don't think they had the ability to, to really do that as much back then. It was a long time ago that Metal, Metal Garnet was out, but it had a very similar shade and it had this sort of metallic shine. This also feels incredibly comfortable on the lips, guys. I really like this formula. I might have to buy the other shades of this product. That's how good it is. Okay, I'm impressed. Uh, let's go to Clay de Poe and then Dior. We'll take this off, but this feels great and I love the shade. It's a special shade. Like, I don't know if I would wear this. Well, I don't know, maybe I would wear this every day, but it's it's got a little plum, a little red, and a little gold and silver. It's really nice and very unique for a shade. Okay, now we're moving on to the Clay de Poe lipsticks for holiday. Now. The lipsticks for holiday, there was actually a bunch of different lipsticks. There were some that were, um, uh, there was like one that was exclusive to the Clay de Post site. There were a set of lipsticks, like mini lipsticks were existing colors. I didn't pick up those. I didn't pick up the super pink one. <laughs> what I actually ended up picking up, surprisingly enough, were two of the matte lipsticks because I actually like the formula. So this is 523 in Stellar Red, which I'll show you and then 520 in Heavenly Peach. Those are the matte shades. So I will do those, make sure. 
Yeah, those are the matte shades, and I'll do those first. Then I have 522 in Cosmic Red, which is the satin formula. Um, I think I did 522 in the video when I did the Clay de Peau. Um, can't really remember now. So let's do the Heavenly Peach first. This is 520 matte. It is a true peach shade. It's really pretty. The packaging, oh, the packaging. <laughs> the packaging is some of the best packaging I've seen, and definitely for this holiday. This shade, if you like a good peach, like if you like a good apricot peach shade, and you like a matte lipstick that is super smooth, it does not feel like matte at all, which is why I picked them up, because if these were truly mattes, I would not wear them. They feel like satins. They do wear more like a matte, like they stay on your lips and they don't transfer as much, but these are super smooth. They feel like chapstick. I mean, really. They feel like chapstick. They feel so good. So if you're looking for a non-shiny lipstick that is long wearing, comfortable, um, I'd say this particular shade is kind of a little sheer. It's not super opaque. Um, the 520 Peach is really pretty. And I think this kind of shade does work for a lot of folks because on me things go pinker and it's still staying pretty peach on my lips. All right, let's try the 523 Cosmic Red. Sorry, 523 Stellar Red is the map. The um, Cosmic Red is the set. All right, let's do the 523. Like I said, these feel like chapstick. Like good chapstick, not cheap chaps. <laughs> like super smoothing, super like, it feels like a bomb for your lips, but it's matte lipstick. I don't know how they did that. Reminds me of the Suku, the sheer velvets, I think they're called, or the sheer mattes. That's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the Suku formula. Really beautiful. Now this is, like I said, the, make sure I have the name right, 523 Stellar Red. It has, it is red-ish, but I think this is a cooler, almost pinkish shade. I'm glad I didn't pick up, the, there's one that they had on the site that was just on the uh, Clay Depot site that was like pink pink, like a Barbie pink, which I don't think I could have worn. But this is a really pretty subtle red. Like if you're really not ready for red, but you want something cool leaning, to me it looks like rose, like a deep rose. Very comfortable though. Like for, I would never, it, it looks like a matte because it has that matte finish, but it does not feel drying at all. All right, now we'll go to the Satin 522 Cosmic Red. I don't think this shade is red at all. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I did when I did the video um, of the uh, collection. It's a beautiful formula. I love the reformulated Clay de Peau formula. Again, this is more of a satin. You have that satin look to it. It doesn't have that matte look, but it has the same feel. Super comfortable, feels like a bomb. Honestly, beautiful. But this is not a red. This is a peach, a deeper peach than the first one, um, which was named, that I've already forgotten, Heavenly Peach. So maybe this was supposed to be Heavenly Peach, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a peach shade, but it's really nice. In fact, when I, did, when I did the collection, I was like, oh, this is a really nice shade. This is a shade that I could wear a lot because it's, it kind of goes with everything. It's got enough warmth that you could mix it with something warm, but it's cool enough, you know, it's a good neutral. Um, and most things, like I said, go pink on me and this still stays kind of peach. This is a beautiful shade. I love the formula. I think the satin is gorgeous. I think it just depends on whether we like a satin or a matte. Um, both formulas are great. It's just the shade name is a little misleading. Okay, we're into the Dior Addicts. So uh, what did I pick up? I picked up Rose Fortune, Cosmic Pink, and Zodiac Red. Uh, I did not pick up the plum shade. There's also matte shades that came with the Dior formula, uh, with the Dior Holiday. I actually like the Dior Velvets. So I don't know. I might I might pick them up. I just, I feel like, I feel like I have a lot of, of new lip things to try, so I tried to limit it a little bit, kind of, a little bit. Um, I do have the Dior case, the gold case that came with the holiday collection. I will do a Instagram video or something, a reel, a short, with all the different cases that I have for the Dior Addicts. I do think they're cute. I do think, I mean, I know it's a gimmick, but I, I do like them. Uh, anyway, so the Dior Addict 
formula. I did a video where I did all the Dior addicts I had at the time on my lips. I think I had like 10 shades. I really love the Dior Addict formula, but I will be very honest, it's very similar to the Chantecaille Lip Chics um, and a couple of others. I actually did a video where I compared different like shiny lipsticks. There's a lot to like about the Addicts. I like the fact that they have the cases that you can put the, you know, the, the cool looking cases on. Um, I like the formula. I like the fact that they're shiny and, and, and they, um, they have different finishes, like some are metallic, some are more satin, some have more opacity. So I love that. And there's a lot of different options. It's difficult to tell what the shades are really like because your, for whatever reason, has weird like color swatches on their site, which is why actually I did that video with all the Dior Addicts. Um, and why, again, I started, when I was thinking about doing this video today, I was like, I should have... I should just put them all on my lips because it does get confusing trying to figure out what the shades are and how they look on the lips. So let's do this first one. Um, this is 680 and 680 is Rose Fontaine. I think this is the one I'm gonna like the most, but we'll see. Beautiful, creamy, perfect, literally the perfect brownie pink. Love it, love it. If you're looking for a cool pink brown, this is the shade. And it's shiny, it's a satin, but there's not, not glitter, not uh, pieces in it. Super smooth, enough opacity that you can do one swipe like I just did. Um, yeah, this one has, there's a little bit of a scent. It's very, very light. I don't think most, I don't think they actually have scents. I think I'm just like imagining it maybe, but no, there's a little bit of a scent. I, I do smell that. Um, it's pleasant though. It's like really, it's like a light floral. All right, next we're gonna try Cosmic Pink. All right, now Cosmic Pink I think is gonna be a little brighter. There is definitely a scent. Kind of smells like, you're gonna think I'm nuts, but it, like Cherry Lifesaver maybe? <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so this shade is, it's sheerer. It's a lot sheerer and it feels like a gloss. And I think this, I mean, yes, it's kind of bright, but I think with like a lip liner, this would be beautiful. Kind of like what I had on in the beginning with the Wet n Wild and the brown liner, um, creamy, creamy chocolate. So I'll make sure the information's down below from Buxom. Yeah, cause it's like a bright pink, but I think with the right liner, this would be really stunning and really like vibrant and I don't know, springy almost. Very comfortable. Again, all the Dior addicts that I've tried, whether they've been uh, more satiny or more shiny or more uh, glittery or more metallic, they've all had an amazing formula where they feel very comfortable and very nourishing on the lips. Okay, we're at the last lipstick for today. And this is, again, a Dior addict in Zodiac Red 974. This is a very shiny, very bright pink red. This almost has like a magenta kind of undertone, uh, like the opposite of the Chanel 817. The 817 is a very bright red with gold. This is a very bright red with magenta. If you like a very cool leaning, almost pink red, that's what this is. I'll be honest, I'm not sure I like this shade on me. I think it's too much. But I will also say it's a very pigmented shade and for somebody who's looking for a deeper, brighter lipstick, I think this is a really good shade. But again, I would not have guessed that that was the color that it was gonna go on me, although things do go pink on me, based on the swatches that I saw online. So that's why I wanted to do this today because I think it's helpful for you guys to see. This is a very pinky magenta red, whereas the Chanel is a very gold red, um, and the the, the, the Clay de Poche shades aren't red at all. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I like the Rose uh, Fortune shade the most, but the Cosmic Pink I think is good if I do like a brown liner. This one, I'm not sure I'm gonna wear. I might gift this one. It's, it's a pretty shade. I just don't know if it's right for me. I'll have to see. We'll see if I get used to it. Um, all right, so let's do a summation here. The Dior Attic lips are great. If you can figure out the shades that you, they'll work for you. Hopefully I remember to link where I did like the 10 swatches. I have more shades than that now, but maybe I will revisit that and, and do more shades on my lips, but at least you now have these three. 
The Byredo lips are beautiful. They have a great formula. They're very comfortable. They feel almost like a velvet cream on the lips. The Bezer Cosmique, I think, is the one that has more of the metallic. I don't think any of the other shades did, but I'll go back and check. And the Reasonable Doubt is a very good neutral, um, probably a medium neutral kind of shade. Uh, very creamy, beautiful feeling. The Kellyanne Lips, I would wear every single day for the rest of my life if they just had more nude shades. I love that scent. And that feels phenomenally good on the lips. It really does. I really, really like it. I'll look at the other shades. I just think they're going to be all too red. And again, I don't have a problem with red lipstick. If I find the right red for me, I'll, I'll definitely wear it. But I just, red isn't really my thing. I tend to wear more nude lips. So I wish Killian would make more nude shades. <laughs> you hear me, Killian. Um, the Chanel 817, it's a beautiful gold red. It actually is very pretty. Uh, again, not the red that I would wear all the time, but it, it's a red that I would wear sometimes. So I'm glad I have it. And I actually really love that formula, the Lustre formula. So I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad I have it since it is a limited edition. And the Isomea um, gloss, the serum, um, the lip serum in Black Veil, it felt really nice. And I'm gonna have to keep trying that out to see if it has any like stinging properties. I didn't notice any. Um, it felt very comfortable on the lips. I feel like less is more with that unless you want to get more of that black look. I think you get more of a, a lilac-y purple, which actually can be quite nice depending on the look that you're doing. So I really do like that. And I have to say, the surprise of all of this is this Wet n' Wild lipstick in Dark Pink Frost. It is not a shade that I would like. It, it reminds me, again, of a shade that I had. I think it was by Estee Lauder. It might have been MAC. I feel like it was Estee Lauder though. Anyway, it was a frosty pink and I wore it very much like unironically frosty. Um, this I'm wearing with a brown uh, liner and I love the way it looks. I really love it. And I think it's a great combination. And it's at $3, you know, try it out. <laughs> if you don't like it, it's $3. Um, so you know, I love the Dior formulas and the the variety of the Attic lipsticks. The Clé de Peau, I really love the matte and the satin because they're so creamy and they feel fantastic on. Um, the Killian I love, the Byredo I'm really excited about. Um, I'm gonna have to try more of the shades and tell you about the wear. Um, and the Ismea is nice. And like I said, the Chanel uh, Lustre, I already like the formula. Um, so I wouldn't say I'm walking away from this with like, I have one favorite, but I will say that I am, am impressed with the variety of lip products that we now have on the market. And so there's pretty much something out there for everybody, uh, including someone like myself who likes, you know, from time to time a more matte lip, but doesn't like the dryness. You can have a matte lip now and it won't be dry. The liquid lips that aren't like, stuck to your lips and you feel like you can't breathe. Um, yeah, these are beautiful. Uh, the Killian lips, which are a liquid creamy lip and have a very strong scent, which I happen to love. Um, the serum, which is, again, I, it's not for everybody, but I really like the feel of it and the shade is unique and it's different. And a $3, $3 lipstick that uh, I actually love. So I'll spend more time with all of these, talk about where all of this, you know, details and everything. And hopefully I had the prices come up uh, to help you make decisions. But there's a lot of different lipsticks out there for the, un the uh, uh, oncoming holiday season. And given the economic issues that we are seeing, I would expect lipstick sales to continue to go up. There's something called the lipstick, I think it's called the lipstick index, but it also be the lipstick efforts. It's the lipstick something um, that, as the economy gets more difficult, sales of lipsticks go up. And it basically has to do with this idea that, you know, when you can't afford something like a vacation or a car or a new house, something like a small luxury item like a lipstick seems attainable. Um, so actually people buy more lipsticks uh, when, uh, when things are tough. And, you know, with the, uh, with the economy the way it is and inflation and all those things, uh, and the fact that frankly, you know, the idea of, Certainly the pandemic is still ongoing and there's things, but it feels like it's coming to an end. More people wearing, you know, lipstick. So uh, I think we, we're gonna see even more, <laughs> more different products, which is great. 
I think that's fantastic. Um, so I'll have all the details below and all the shades. Hopefully this helped for you to decide what colors you like and what formulas you want to pick up. If you have any questions, certainly let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.